Alright guys, so I'm doing this new thing with the Instagram TV or whatever. Um, and I'm doing it because of <clears throat> this episode's uh, T1D Lifestyles, hashtag Sugar Me Saturday. Um, and they're important things. I don't want to say issues, but they're important. They're an important subject matter that type ones do deal with. So last week I was supposed to do one about uh, type one diabetes and depression. And for me, I went through it. Uh, I went through depression early on, but I think I went through it because I was also coupled with with uh, the neuropathy in my legs and feet. I also lost the ability to walk. Things along those lines, I think, is what caused me to go through that depression. It, um, I was sick. I missed so much school. My mom missed like about five, to, three to six months of work. Was worried that she was going to be unemployed. It was, it was a lot of things, and I think what I felt like was. It was my fault. Like, had I not been diagnosed with this disease and things like that, none of this would be an issue. That, like, it, it was just, it was weird. Um, and I think what got me through it was I had to start thinking about. I mean, I know it's corny and stuff, but you know the fact that I was still here. Um, I've. I've said it before, um, I've also, uh, previously, uh, we talked about the negatives associated with it that we've turned into a positives, and I told you guys one of my negatives is being, not being able to carry to term due to the, on, like, how long it took me to get diagnosed, and I, at around the same time, like, later and stuff with the depression and things like that when it came back, it was because of the multiple failed miscarriages and things like that. Um, stupid little things like fighting with my endo about what I felt myself as a type one needed or should have or, you know, things like that. It was just, it's a lot of stuff like that. And I, I came out of it because I thought. Uh, the stupid things I did um, to end my life. Yes, I I hate admitting that, but I know I have to. Um, I made a promise to God or whoever um, you guys believe in. I made a promise after I put everything in motion that if I still woke up the next morning, that would give me validation that my life had a purpose. There was a reason for me to still be here. And I remember waking up the next morning. And I remember waking up. Not only did I wake up, I woke up. My glucose levels were in like a perfect range. Not 100, but they were, I think they were 89 or something like that. They were just in a good range, which they hadn't been. Like I'd been fighting that for a while. And... I remember after testing and I just, I looked up and I said, point made. And from that moment on, it was like, it took me hitting that low to realize exactly how beautiful everything is, how beautiful and wonderful life actually is. The, everything that life has to offer. And I started looking into the different diseases that are actually out there, you know, from HIV to AIDS to cancer to MS to um, even people going through like uh, lupus and uh, those suffering with uh, alopecia with, I mean, there's so many other diseases out there. And I started thinking about how... I have control over this disease. I mean, granted, there are things I have absolutely no control over when it comes to this disease, but I determine how I manage this disease. And if I do a good job with it, I'm going to be okay. You know, I'm going to still be able to be here, be able to talk, be able to discuss, be able to explain all the negatives that I went through to get to this state of positive. And 
that was what that was what knocked me out of my depression um I wanted to take the negative experiences and I wanted to turn them into a positive and I wanted to make sure that negative never hit me again I mean I'll admit diabetes will throw everything at you and I look at it now as if I wake up the next morning I've won and by me doing that that means I have something to do so I'm not going to complain. I'm going to enjoy another beautiful day that I know so many people have been denied. Um, me in particular, uh, my mom and my twin brother, I no longer have with me. So I know that life is a blessing now. And I know that in spite the hardships, I can get through it and it's going to be okay. And I think that was what I needed to get to to get out of my depression. Um, no more antidepressant pills, no more nothing. I am just on insulin <laughs> and on life now. And I think that helped me get through what I went through with um, type one and depression. So the next one is T1D burnout. <laughs> I know we all go through it. Um, my endo will probably kick my ass if she heard me or if he heard me say this but sometimes I will just take a break from diabetes totally um oh my god this is like on video so now they have proof that I said it but yes I will do that I will have a complete and total splurge day where I won't test my glucose levels um even if I'm on my insulin pump I'll still just eat whatever I want and things like that but you know what a small part of me still keeps um being active in mine so i may do 20 minute walks and things like that on that day as well but i'll also just be like nah screw this i'm not you know i'm not i'm not gonna do diabetes today i'm just gonna i'm gonna go out and i'm just gonna do me and i'm gonna be me without worrying about oh my god how many carbs are in that did i bolus enough did i give myself enough insulin did i do this like i'm not doing that today i'm just gonna be me and just be happy and i think we we kind of need that um i'm not saying do it every day please don't do it every day but I think maybe once in a blue moon, we can have a day that we don't worry about being a type one and we just be us. I mean, this is type one is us. But like I said, we get the burnout. We get the frustration. We get the annoyance. We get tired of carb counting. We get tired of testing our glucose levels multiple times. We get tired of being attached to a device all the time. We get like we just get that. And I totally understand it. So I have a little splurge day where I don't do it. I don't think about it. I don't I don't worry about it. I just enjoy and I think we should all be able to do that. We should all try our best to do that. Just, I mean, it's life. I mean, life is not hard. It's, it was not meant to be an easy ride, but we're, we're all still here. And I think as long as we're still here, this is something we should do and we should enjoy and we should do everything possible to just appreciate the beauty that is in every aspect of it, whether it's a simple little splurge day, whether it's coming to an understanding that life is beautiful and it's such a rare gift. Um, that's that's what I do. Um, and that's what I hope everyone else can do. That's what I hope you guys can do. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> let me know if this uh, this video helped you guys. Um, like I said, this is like the Instagram TV thingy up there, whatever. But I hope today's video has been helpful. Um, if you guys have any questions, you know, hit me up, Messenger, all of that stuff. I'll answer them whenever I can. I usually do, though. Um, but thank you guys for tuning in. Sugar Me Saturday's episode of T1D Lifestyles. And can't wait until you guys see what we talk about next week. Bye, guys.